Hey, what is going on, guys? In today's video, we're going to be going over the types of people in NBA 2K19. And if you guys can relate to this video, be sure to drop a like. Or if you know anyone that's one of these, let me know in the comment section down below. And let's get into it. So the first person is going to be the casual. The casual person is just probably the person with a really bad record. Or a really bad win percentage. And they just play the game to have fun. They'll usually have like a slash build because they like to dunk. They don't care about the record. They don't care about anything in the game. They just care about having fun with their friends and having a good time. And then the second one is going to be the dribble god. So there's a lot of types of dribble gods. But we're going to be going over the dribble god. That dribbles the whole clock, and then he'll either dunk it when there's like two seconds left or shoot a shot. And don't you dare set him a screen. If you set him a screen, you're getting blocked. Like, that's it. You're getting blocked, or you're going to get booted offline. Just don't set him a screen. So you usually play with the stretch, and the stretch just stays in the corner. They dribble the whole clock. And then once they get their takeover, they usually get past the person all the time. And then the other dude starts helping, and then he just passes it to the stretch with that gold dimer. And it's GG's at that point, because stretch probably won't miss. And that's going to be it for the dribble god. Coming up, the number one spot is going to be the excuse guy. The excuse guy is the guy that is never his fault when anything goes wrong. He always has an excuse for everything, like, Oh, I was lagging. I'm delayed. Don't pass me the ball. I'm lagging. It's my first game on today. Jump shot didn't change. Oh, it pulled me in. Made me shoot like that? And stuff like that are the type of people that just make excuses after excuses after excuses. Nothing is their fault. And we're just going to get on to another one, which is going to be the stat patter. Or some like to call it the Russell Westbrook kind of type of player. The excuse guy, I mean, the stat patter player, I mean, guy, the stat the stat patter the stat patter guy is the player that doesn't care about scoring at all he just scores i mean he just cares about getting assists so he can get his park rep up if he has an open dunk he's passing it out if He'll just He won't set any screens. He'll he'll have the ball with three seconds left, pass it out so it's a four shot, and then he'll get the board so he can pat his rebounding. And then also go for the assist. Wide open dunk? Not gonna take it. Wide open layup, not gonna take it. Wide open shot? Yeah, he's not gonna take it that either. He just wants to pat his stats so his virtual virtual 2K card looks cool and so we can have good players to play with when really you're not good. Like he probably just gets carried. Just a stat pattern. Russell Westbrook is what I call it. If you don't think what Russell Westbrook is a stat pattern, then you're crazy. I'm going to show you a clip of why he's a stat pattern. And then you guys let me know if you change your mind. Still think he's a stat pattern? Yeah, you don't anymore. He, all I did was drive to the loop, pass it out, get the or he'll get the board, pass it out. Wide open dunk? Nope. 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 Wide open layup? No. 
You're kidding me. He's passing out every time. All right, now let's move on. This player is the delayer that wants to delay people on a virtual video game. Most likely, you'll see them in events, so then they can get virtual clothing, so then they look cooler. But really, it doesn't make you look that cool, and so they can get their virtual boost. But, honestly, if you're a delayer, you're not good at the game. Like, these are the tryhards that care so much about their record. If they're losing, they're going to delay you. When you have the ball, you're delayed. When they have the ball, they're not delayed. So, you're basically going to lose. Because they're going to score eventually, even if you play the best defense you can. 2K will bail them out if you know how 2K is. Delayers are super common on PS4, but not so much on Xbox. I haven't really ran into any. But we're going to get on to the next player. So the next player is going to be the tryhard. The person that if you lose a game on their team, you're getting blocked. They're going to cuss you out, do everything to hurt you, and they're going to block you. If you miss an open three, you're blocked. If you miss, if you don't get a board... If you're a point guard and you don't get a board over a glass cleaner, you're getting blocked. This player tries to go for the best win percentage on 2K, but usually the tryhards, they run from comp and they only play amateurs, which a lot of people do in 2K, but a lot of tryhards do that. I tried pulling up, I'm an elite one, I tried pulling up an elite threes, and they ran for me. I was running with like a pro two and a pro three, and they ran. Like, come on. Scared of a little cop, eh? Now we're going to get on to the rager. The rager is the type of person that if you miss a wide open shot, they're going to rage. If they miss, I mean, if they lose a game, they're going to rage. If you do anything bad, they're going to rage and scream their hearts out. For an example... Here's one. Roll the clip. Stop X, bro. Stop pressing X. He got me dropped off, bro. We just lost. Yo, Vic, we're never playing together again. Never, ever. Get off my court, Nate. Get off my court. And then you also have the squeakers that rage. Roll the clip. So that is going to do it for this video of types of players in 2K on the park. And if you guys did enjoy and relate, let me know by leaving a like on this video so it can get out there and other people can see this video too and relate. But if you guys are one of these players in 2K, one of these types of people, let me know. Let me know which one you are by dropping a comment down below. And also subscribe. I'm going to be posting more content. I usually post every other day. And that's going to be my schedule for now on. It's been my schedule, but I'm going to keep doing that. And also, guys, I'm, I'm streaming a lot over on Twitch. And my Twitch is in the description down below. So you guys should go follow that. And you guys should also follow my Twitter. That's where I post when I'm about to upload a video. I'll be like, new vid, new video in 10 minutes, new video in 30, new video in an hour, etc, etc. That's also where I get to interact with you guys and interact with my fans. Because you guys are the reason I have this channel. And also, speaking of you guys, I want to... Thank you guys very much. I've been getting a lot of support lately. I've only been doing this YouTube thing for about three weeks or not. Yeah, not even a month now. I've probably been doing it. Yeah, three weeks, I'd say. And I've gained already like 20 subscribers, which is just crazy to think about. I never thought I would get this many subs. And it all comes down to you guys. And also, I looked at my analytics 
for YouTube. And so most of the people that watch my video, about 90% of the people that watch my videos are not subscribed. So make sure you guys are subscribed. Because the people that are subscribed, there's only 6% of the people of all of my viewers that are subscribed and watch my videos. And also turn on post notifications so you know when I go live. And that is going to do it for this video. I will see you all in the next one.